What is up guys? Welcome to my trailer breakdown for Arrow Season 7 Episode 22, which is also the season finale of Season 7 titled You Have Saved This City. I think this is an awesome title for the episode and there are a lot of things in this episode that I am genuinely excited for, like the return of the Monitor, the leaving of Felicity, as well as just the conclusion to the conflict between Team Arrow and the Ninth Circle. So as all of that is going to happen in this episode, let's watch the trailer, break it down, and talk about everything everything that is going to happen in the season finale of Arrow Season 7. I've been waiting for you. This could get messy. Instead of finding the hero that is inside of you, you went down a dark path. <laughs> if you're gonna kill me, do it. Arrow Season Finale. So here it is, the ending to the conflict between the Ninth Circle and Team Arrow, as well as Green Arrow and Red Arrow, though she's never really been called that, but obviously Oliver Queen and Amico Queen, they're going to have a fight right here, and I'm hoping that they do something that I've been saying up until uh, like the entirety of the season, every time we saw Green Arrow and Red Arrow fight. I think that Green Arrow was holding back because it was his sister, and the only time they did fight that he already knew that she killed his father, or she at least let him die, was in a hallucination where she he just straight up killed her, and then later they didn't really fight, but there was a confrontation where he refused to kill her, so I'm hoping now, if they do fight, which I'm guessing they will, he beats her pretty easily, and he just, maybe he doesn't hold back this time around, although at the same time, it does hold back because he's not not going to kill her, but doesn't hold back to the point where he doesn't kill her, and I'm hoping he beats her very easily, because she's not exactly a very big physical threat in this season, she's not exactly a good villain either, and it would be pretty satisfying if he just defeated her very easily in a fight scene, because it would make the Green Arrow look so badass in that scene. So we see Team Arrow go up against the Night Circle or a bunch of their goons in a server room. I don't know if the server room is important. I don't know if they need to secure it or they need to keep it safe or they need to protect it or maybe it has something to do with Archer. I have absolutely no idea. I'll be honest with you. But what I do know is that we see Arsenal and Spartan but we also see Bronze Tiger a character who was very important in this season. Way more than any other season in the past as he was one of the uh, prison mates with Oliver Queen and in the uh, Kind of season finale to the prison uh, storyline he helped Oliver Queen and he was awesome he was very badass he had a great redemption arc and it seemed like he would be having a bigger role in the season we had we saw him once since then and uh, now we're seeing him again but we also know that he probably will have more to do with Team Arrow because we know in the future John Diggle does adopt Connor Hawk which is his son which is Bronze Tiger's son so maybe Bronze Tiger joins the team befriends John Diggle and then dies so John Diggle does adopt Bronze Tiger's son. Either way, I am so glad that he is joining the fight here because he is genuinely awesome. The actor or whatever stunt double he has, he's so good in the fight scenes. He's really badass, and I just love the characters. So I have I would have nothing against him joining Team Arrow, and I'm excited for him to do so in this episode. But Bronze Tiger is not the only returning character in the fight against the Ninth Circle. He's actually one of three as far as we know. Not only Bronze Tiger, but also Black Canary, aka Laura Lance of Earth 2, is returning in this episode. It seems like she moved back to Earth 2, but now Team Arrow will call her for help, or maybe she never left and she decided to stay because she is on Earth 1 in the, in the Flash Forwards, so maybe she kind of found more of a home on Earth 1. She said she's leaving, but she never did, so she returned in this episode to the fight. Either way, I'm definitely pretty excited to see her return. She has had a great redemption arc, and she has become a great character, and honestly, I really like her interactions with Dinah Drake, as well as Sarah Lance, but she's obviously not on the show, so I'm definitely excited for, like, this scene right here, where they team up. Uh, uh, Dinah Drake doesn't have the Canary Cry, but uh, Laura Lance does, so, like, together, they kind of make one very good Black Canary. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but we know that she is returning in this fight, and we already knew that from set photos, but this just could confirms it. But another character who is also returning is a character I'm definitely not as excited to see return, specifically because it doesn't seem like he's going to be having a role uh, outside of just, like, a guy on the chair, and that is Mr. Terrific, aka Curtis Holt. Don't get me wrong, I do like uh, Mr. Terrific, like, when he's on the field. I do like his costume a lot. I do really like his T-spheres. Like, they're very, very unique. But I don't love Curtis Holt as a character, and it seems like he's not actually uh, teaming up, uh, suiting up as Mr. Terrific. It seems like he is 
only going to be helping Felicity with the hacking part as we see in some promotional photos. If he does suit up as Mr. Terrific and we see just a huge team up shot of Green Arrow, Arsenal, Black Canary, Black Siren, Spartan, Wild Dog, Bronze Tiger, and Mr. Terrific, that would be awesome. I would definitely love to see that, but I, I don't think that will happen necessarily, but I do think it would be cool, and uh, either way, Mr. Terrific is definitely a character that I would like to see return as Mr. Terrific, but not really that much as Curtis Holt, but I do think this is probably going to be his last episode on the show, unless he returns in the series finale, which he definitely might. So the trailer ends with the fight scene between the Green Arrow and the Red Arrow, which is going to be at the end fight scene. And we see that Oliver is trying to tell Amiko to kill him, either trying to prove that she can't do that, or I don't know, obviously there's no other reason he would do that, but I don't think he's going to succeed at that. He obviously thinks he does, but for some reason I've noticed on the show that he's not very good at convincing people that they should turn around their lives. Like, for some reason, whenever he does, it just doesn't work. Like, in the moment, like maybe over time it does, but in a moment like this one, it never works. So I, I don't think it will work. I think that she will genuinely try to kill him, but then either the, maybe the monitor will get in the way or he will get in the way and maybe that will force him to kill her. I do think she's going to die in the episode probably. I don't think they're going to just to defeat her and put her in jail. I think that she is going to die and I think Oliver is probably going to be forced to do it. Not necessarily that he wants to, that he does have to and it's kind of in self-defense. Either way, this is not necessarily a fight that I'm excited for. Again, I would much rather a fight where we do see Green Arrow and Red Arrow fighting, but we also see the rest of Team Arrow fighting all of the Ninth Circle goons. Like, there's eight members of Team Arrow fighting all the Ninth Circle goons. That would be really, really cool to see with the two leaders of those groups fighting each other. That would be pretty cool, but it seems that it's only really Green Arrow and Red Arrow fighting each other, and maybe the rest of Team Arrow is fighting the Ninth Circle, like, in a different place. I don't know. That doesn't seem as fun to me, but either way, it probably will end up being pretty good, because uh, whatever how uh, maybe not great this season has been at times I think that it has been good lately and I do think Arrow is really good at making season finales like in season 1 and 2 and as well as 5 obviously and 6 even had a great season finale so I think that this season will probably have a good season finale as well but maybe it won't be due to the main storyline maybe it'll be due to the two other factors that I did mention the crisis on earth uh, on infinite earth factor as well as the felicity leaving factor so right after the conflict with the Ninth Circle and the Red Arrow, they will probably be defeated and Amiko will probably either die or go to jail. There will be a solid probably 10 or 15 minutes. I think that they're going to defeat them 25 or 30 minutes into the episode and then the rest of the episode will be everything to do with Felicity leaving as well as the Monitor. So there were a lot of set photos that confirmed that the Monitor, aka Marnovu, would be appearing in this episode for some reason or another. There was obviously the big deal between the Monitor and Oliver that was never revealed that saved the lives of Barry and Kara where the Monitor gave him this cosmic arrow which is one of the coolest arrows we've ever seen and it was one of the coolest moments for Oliver when he shot the arrow at the book and he single-handedly saved the world and he's just an archer and he did it by himself and he was the MVP despite the fact that he has no powers and I thought that was an awesome moment but in that moment there was some sort of deal between uh, the Monitor and Oliver that did save the lives of Kara and Barry. Obviously, there's a lot of speculation about what it is. Most people think that it is Oliver giving up his life and probably one other person's life because it's not one uh, person's life for two. It's going to be two for two. Barry and Kara were saved, so two other people would have to die instead. I think those two people are going to be actually uh, Oliver Queen and the Monitor. A lot of people think it's going to be Oliver Queen and Superman, but I don't think that's going to happen. Superman is such a minor character. Even in Elseworlds, where he did appear a lot, he is still a minor character in the universe and I don't think that would work and I, I would be so angry if Superman died to save Supergirl but I do think a Green Arrow and the Monitor dying to save the Flash and Supergirl who in turn save the unit or the multiverse from the Anti-Monitor I think that is what is going to happen and in this episode we will see probably them talking about that whole deal maybe even revealing to us what that deal is between Green Arrow and the Monitor but we do know that there will be some sort of confrontation between the Monitor 
monitor as well as green arrow that I am definitely excited for. It's easily my favorite, my most anticipated part of this episode, except for the fact that Felicity is leaving, but I am definitely very excited to see the monitor in this episode and maybe learn what the deal between the green arrow and the monitor was, and hopefully that will lead into a very awesome crossover next year. There were also a lot of people speculating that Tommy Merlin in the last episode, who was seemingly a hallucination on Oliver's part, or actually he was kind of dreaming Tommy Merlin, a lot of people are speculating that that was the monitor, that was the monitor manipulating Oliver, or trying to help Oliver out of a situation because he needs Oliver alive for the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover and the events of that crossover, so maybe that was the monitor. I think that it is very possible that that is true, and in this episode it will be revealed to Oliver that he was, that Tommy Merlin was the monitor in that scene. It will be revealed to the audience as well, because when Tommy snapped his fingers, it did remind me of Thanos, obviously, and I think the monitor kind of reminds me of Thanos as well, so maybe there was some sort of, uh, some sort of comparison there. There was like a flash of light that makes it feel like the monitor snapped his fingers and brought Oliver back to where he was originally, where Team Arrow was going to get him, so it's definitely possible that Tommy is the monitor in that episode, and that may be a revealed in this episode as well. I could go either way. I mean, if it isn't the uh, the monitor, it's just a dream, that's fine. And if it is the monitor and he manipulated Oliver and, and helped Oliver in that whole episode, then that would be pretty awesome to see as well. Either way, again, very excited for the monitor's return in the next episode. One last thing that I have mentioned obviously so many times in this video that I'm definitely excited for is this will be the final episode that has Emily Bett Rickards, or at least she will be a series regular. I think it's possible and likely she will be returning in the series finale. I'm definitely not excited for that return, and maybe it's possible that she will never return off the episode, which I definitely will be very happy if that happens, but she is not going to die. We know that because she is alive in the flash forwards. What happens? was entirely set up in the last two episodes where Arsenal was affected by his bloodlust, killed two guards, and that led Team Arrow to covering that up. Then uh, the SAPD found out because Amico Queen did give them the footage that was seemingly erased. So then Felicity was, or the SAPD showed up with a warrant for Felicity where then she attacked the SAPD, making everything so much worse. And now she has to go off the grid with her baby. And that leads to Mia growing up with Felicity on this house off the grid. And that leads to the flash forward as well. This isn't the ideal way for Felicity to leave. I would much prefer she just die and uh, we'd never see her again in the future because this does warrant her return and this does mean that the flash forwards, I mean we already knew this was uh, going to happen but she is alive in the flash forwards but maybe not for long because I don't see the flash forwards continuing without Felicity unless she dies because she's not going to be in the flash forwards. That is a fact because it's not Felicity Smoke leaving the present day, it's Emily Bett Records leaving the show and they need that actress to play Felicity Smoke in the future, so we know she's not going to be around the flash forwards either, either. I mean, that is if the flash forwards even continue into the next season, which I'm 100% certain they will, but anyway, I don't even know why I mentioned that, but Felicity has to, something has to happen to her in the flash forwards, either hopefully she dies, which would probably be a very, very satisfying thing to watch, it only took like, what is it, 30 years or... 37 years or something from when she debuted to uh, for her to be killed and that is probably going to be a very satisfying thing to watch in the flash forwards or maybe she will just leave the, the city go back to where she was before and not be on screen anymore I don't know I genuinely don't really care about the flash forwards the only thing I care about is if Felicity dies to watch that happen but as for her departure from the show in this episode it will be her and Mia Smoke or the unborn Mia Smoke going to live on a house somewhere, the same place she lived in that one episode of the Flash Forwards where we saw them, and that will be her departure from the show. I'm not exactly excited for the actual lines or the actual like emotion that will um, seemingly be in the episode, because that will be so cheesy, but I am excited for the result, the end result of all that, which will be Felicity will not be around in the show anymore. But anyway, let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you excited for the final confrontation between Team Arrow and the Ninth Circle, or maybe more specifically between the Green Arrow and the Red Arrow? Are you excited for the return of the Monitor and the Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, aspects of this episode? And are you excited or maybe sad, hopefully you aren't, about the departure of Felicity Smoke? from this show. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.